Hello everybody and welcome back. It's day three of our decluttering journey and today we're adding sparkle to a bathroom closet, master bath vanity, hall closet, and office. First up, the bathroom closet. It's a bit crowded to film, but we've got it. I'm removing all items except what is on the second shelf, which is the homeowner's medication. He has that exactly how he wants it. I'll do before and after shots after each area is complete. We're turning clutter into comfort. So let's get started. So here's the backstory. With a brave veteran dad and a super mom who travels three weeks out of the month and then has a surgery on the fourth week, and their seven wonderful kids, including one who has autism. I've carefully checked each item for expiry dates. Remember, once those dates have passed, we can't be sure that the medicine will both be safe and effective due to changes in chemical composition. Let's keep things cozy and fun, grouping those like items together with like items, it's like a treasure hunt. Medical supplies, meet your new organized home. The containers are soda or pop containers you would use in the refrigerator. I got them at the Dollar Tree for those who are in the US, and I'll leave a link in the description below. But with the rest of the closet items, I'm playing matchmaker. Like items with like items. So question for you, when was the last time you cleaned out your bathroom vanity or your linen closet? And here we are, a neatly organized closet that says, welcome, every time you open it. 
Next is the area next to the master closet that I did on the previous day, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Once again, I'm removing all items, checking for expiration dates, and asking the homeowner on what they use the area for and how often they use the items. Items that are used more often go on the lower shelves, and I'm moving the shelf up to allow for taller items that they may use in the future. It's looking great and so much more practical now. Wow, what an improvement! So this area is just below the drawers. Okay, on to the master bathroom vanity, just her side. It's a little jumbled, but full of potential. The blue containers I got at the Dollar Tree, and again, I'll leave a link in the description below. All of these items I'm putting back in the bottom drawer for her travel supplies. She can quickly grab and go now that they are all in one area. As I pulled items out of the drawer, the homeowner was letting me know what she wanted to keep 
and she went through all of the makeup to see what she still uses and what was expired. On to the hall closet. It is full of extra blankets, sheets that no longer serve the family. Once again, I'm pulling everything out and putting it in the hallway for the homeowner to decide what to keep or to donate. The air mattresses were heavy, so they went on the floor and bottom shelf. They were also not used very often. Does anybody else hate folding fitted sheets? Leave a comment below. Mission accomplished. We paired up matching items and made sure each set of sheets is complete.
Last but not least, the office, a place of creativity and, well, a bit of clutter. The thought process in the office is to turn it into a cozy, inspired area so every item can find its happy place. I also cleaned out two other closets, but they were hard to film. The homeowner was so appreciative with all the work that was completed in three days. I'm so glad I could help this family. Thank you for joining me as I help one homeowner at a time. After three days, I had 33,225 steps, 14.68 miles, and burned 1,270 calories. That's all for today. If you enjoyed our time together, please give me a like, share with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures.